the channel for another beautiful class of Golden Sea Yoga dedicated to the Mary Magdalene archetype. I am very happy to be back today to offer you this class. Um, I have received so many good feedback from the previous class and so many of you have had a beautiful experience from what we did last time. So if it's your first time watching my class series dedicated to Mary Magdalene, I invite you to start from class one, unless you want to start directly from this class. Yet I invite you to go back to the to the first class after you finish this one. This will give you a bigger picture of what I'm doing with this energy, with this archetype, and um, it will give you more coherence on how the energy is developing and unfolding. So last time we work on letting go everything that is old, outdated that doesn't serve us anymore and it doesn't serve our highest good anymore today i want to start working on nurturing back our own energy sometimes we talk about taking back our power but we forget that in order to take back our power first we have to let go on things that are holding us down and back but we also needed to clear up our space, clear up our energy centers, clear up our subconscious mind, clear up our heart from resentments, for example. We hold all kinds of emotions in our energy centers that we call chakra in, in yoga. And, uh, and sometimes we do not realize uh, how dense uh, this energy is and how heavy is the impact this dense energy has on the flow of chi into our body and through the energy centers. So today I want to specifically work on that and how this fits our Mary Magdalene archetypes. It's simple. Mary Magdalene was, uh, mythologically speaking, uh, considered um, a prostitute, a woman that sold her body for the pleasure of men. She was uh, condemned by the people in her village to death by stones. And as everybody knows, she was saved by, by Jesus. And then the story goes on. If we look into archaeologic uh, uh, records, um, we might understand that she wasn't a prostitute, but she might have been one of these high priestess of the Kogodes temple, where ritual sex was part of the ceremonies performed in the temple and sometimes outside the temple. And this, this was happening at the same time when the new people, the new religion, um, the Hebrew religion in this case, was taking over the old religion, there was the goddess religion. And of course, the, the, the traditions and the ceremonies were completely different. So you can imagine that from a high priestess, Mary Magdalene might have become a prostitute to the eyes of the new religion holders. This for many years has impacted our subconscious mind. And for those raising Catholic like me, um, we have Lady Mary, the pious woman, the perfect woman, and then we have uh, Mary Magdalene, the repented um, prostitute. This plays a very interesting game into our mind between good and bad. And in that game, we start to create judgment, limitation, 
especially limitation in our free expression, creativity, um, our sexuality as a form of creativity gets repressed and even dimmed down, and so on. All these subconscious judgment get stuck and held on in each of our uh, energy center, not just in our heart, not just in our second chakra. So today we're gonna clear up this heavy energy that in the meantime has become even more than just judgment. And if I look around we and observe people, we have so much um, stuck energy in our energy center and we continue to create patterns of reaction based on what we hold fixed in our system. I'm making it very, very simple <laughs> and just to not to take too much time before class, but just to give you an idea. Today, we're really going to work on the energetic, um, let's say trash, <laughs> energetic, uh, dense, heavy, toxic energy that we all hold in a certain percentage into our energy center. By clearing these uh, energy centers of this heavy energy, we also clear the path to light through our entire body. We start to nurture our system, we start to nurture our soul, our heart, our mind, our body, our life. So let's start to work on clearing our mind and let go those stuck things in our mind system. Today we're going to work on the energy um, system in all its entire function. Next time we're going to start to get our energy back. So first let's clear the path and then we're going to take him back what is our by divine right. Let's get ready for our class. As usual, drink a sip of water before class, take a yoga mat, towels, blankets, big pillows, blocks, anything you think you might need during the class. And please have also a book note by your side with a pen, just in case we need to write something down. I never know what's happening and how the energy will guide me during the class. So just have all these things around you in case we need it to do in class. Let's get started. Good. As usual, sit in easy pose, one foot in front of the other. Please don't cross your legs. And if you need to sit on your pillow, please do so. I do that because it's more comfortable. If your knees are too elevated, please put two towels underneath so that you can relax your legs and you don't create any tension. And relax your arms. Don't extend too much your elbows. Just keep it relaxed, but do not bend it either. It's extended. Relax your hands, possibly with your palms facing down, so we start grounding and fingers relaxed for now. Lift your chest, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin in and take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. Inhale again. circle of light over and around your body, 
join your palms and run your hands down into your mind, seeding the energy of the universe into your brain and mind. And then bring this energy down into your heart. Open the energy of your heart and spread it into the world to connect yourself to the world in full love. Reach the earth with your hands, touch the earth, receive the blessing and blast back the earth yourself. Inhale, bring the energy up, expand, receive the blessing with gratitude, appreciation and respect for what it's given to you and bring this seed of energy into your heart to make it grow and expand into the universe from your heart. Let's start with our breathing. As you remember for last time, we did four seconds in, inhale, hold in for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, and hold out for four seconds. We do this breathing so that our mind aligns with our heart and our body. We calm down our brain waves and we can practice with more attention and presence. You can relax your hands on your knees, palms facing up, your eyes are closed, and they look toward the center of your brain where there is the pineal gland. Okay? I like to imagine my pineal gland becoming gold and bright and pulsating bright light as I breathe. And that's just an addition visualization that you can offer to your pineal gland. Otherwise, just look inside. And I will guide you for the first few times of our breath and then I will let you go on your own. So to start, Let's take a deep breath in and exhale. Inhale again and exhale. And let's start. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Out one, two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four, in one, two, three, four, hold one, two, three, four, out one, two.
deep breath in. And exhale. Left hand on your uh, navel, right hand on your heart. Keep breathing very slow through your nose. And we're gonna do some chord counting like we did last time. It's very good to always clear up our energy system before we start doing anything energetic at all. Take a deep breath in, move your hands slightly out as you inhale, as you exhale, pulse your hands back toward the body. Inhale, and exhale and feel the magnetic field, the energy between your hands and your body.
also behind my head. your hands. Just take a moment and you might feel already different. And exhale. And today I need you to start awakening the physical body. So let's start with our feet. So grab, relax your legs and grab your left foot and start to massage your toes and the way how I do it I take one toes and I stretch it out let's start to activate our physical body and now start to hit the mounds right below your toes and then the center of your foot and your heel and go up and down the energy needs to detach from your body we hold too much energy and it creates like calcified energy which is actually calcium <laughs> in our joints. We need to shock the energy and start to tell our body to release what is preventing us to move and feel lifeful. Hold your, your foot and start to rotate your ankle. the other way now put your foot on the floor and start to massage your up heel tendon massage up and down Love with everything you do. 
and then massage your tendon. in and back you can decide to keep your um, legs straight and start hitting the side of your thighs and go down through the side and in through the inside Stop a little bit on the upper thighs and then keep going. Awake your energy, tell your nervous system to break the patterns, give it a shock. Trauma gets stuck. The memories of trauma get stuck into our muscles as neurologic patterns, networks. That's why we feel pain in certain areas of the body and not in others. Trauma makes us feel pain. Sometimes we hold it because maybe when the trauma happened, we contracted without knowing a specific area of the body and that's why sometimes we have chronic pain let's wake up the system let's break it to the pattern please breathe long and deep and relax gently on your navel very gently, don't be too hard on your neck. Our navel is our second brain, literally our gut. And if you feel you need to inhale and exhale more heavily, please do it, especially from the mouth. liver and spleen. You can even just do this first to the spleen. If it's painful, I will insist a little bit. Not too hard though. Don't be too hard on your inner organs. Liver. to open 
in your lungs. Here, this point underneath your shoulders. And go down through the outside. Inhale through the inside. Don't forget the palm. Here, the other side. Over your head, over your eyes, I'm sorry. Now, center of your forehead and push out. Massaging your entire head. with all your ten fingers through your hair flick your fingers and first passage is done let's stand up and we're gonna do a massage to harmonize the energy and we are gonna stay in standing position because most of our asanas are in standing position today. Take your time, come into standing position in a very nice and kind way. I like to collect my legs, go on my four, and then push my weight on my tippy toes. And from here, extend my legs and slowly roll my spine and I am standing in this standing position let's harmonize the energy that we have moved with the previous exercise take a deep breath in lift your arms palms together Bring your hands down. This is actually from Qigong and it's a yin massage. Caress your neck and your chest. It's when you caress the neck of your beautiful soft cat. You know, same thing. You do the same things to yourself. Then through the center, you go around your spleen and liver into your kidneys and you massage your kidneys this is an act of love toward yourself acceptance and then you run the energy down through the outside of your legs toward your feet all around your feet and then up through the inside here you cross your hands over your shoulders, down toward your elbows, rotate your wrist, and then together, go around your head, massage your neck, and then run down around your organs, massage your kidneys. Then down through the outside of your legs, over your feet, up through the inside, over your chest, over your shoulders and elbow. 
rotate your wrist, wrist. <laughs> one more time. Yin massages, the massage of the feminine. Calm and nurturing massage. Down. your arms and exhale run the energy through the body into the earth in Qigong we are collecting heavenly chi through the physical body so human chi and then into the earth to connect to earthly chi one more time inhale My yoga these times of the of my life has become very much like Qigong. Open your legs wider than your hips. Inhale and exhale. Bend your knees. Hold your hands down over your thighs. Push your knees out, navel is in, shoulders down, chest is open. Inhale and you twist to your right side, your feet to follow the movement. You lower your torso. Through the center. dynamic asana to relax the heaviness from your heart to release resentment fire energy hate that we might have pain and sorrow from our heart so we alternate side deeply and exhale
Turn your feet to your right side. Bend your right foot, your right knee. Extend your left and your torso is looking to the right. Hold your hands on your thighs, right in the front, left in the back. Arch your torso slightly back. This is important. Your head twist right. Breathe long and deep. You have to have this stretching in your neck. each leg and twist your head to the left. We need to give ourselves stability and strength especially when we do clearing work. Otherwise, we are not strong enough to allow this shift to happen. This is pure strengthening the physical body as you keep the body, your heart open and the energy running and flowing. Inhale. Stretch up and exhale. Take a deep breath in slowly. Close your legs. Okay, take a deep breath in and please feel your energy. Feel your legs, feel your heart.
push the energy up and down and twist your head up toward the right side. Navel in. Breathe long and deep. Feel the energy of the earth and the energy of heaven passing through your hands. You're fully magnetizing your system. Have your hands flat and fully open. Do not relax your hands. They are active. Do not bend your elbows. They are active. rushing through the body is powerful and it's beautiful.
the other side. Imprint the universe of your intention. center breathe long and deep and please take a deep breath in and exhale And gently return into easy pose. Please take a moment in easy pose to relax and rest the energy. If you need to write something down on your book note that something came up during your practice, like if you want to write down your intention, you can do so in this moment. If you have nothing to write down, nothing to release or to put in a piece of paper just sit for a moment silently to allow the energy to calm down we're gonna do one more exercise before going into relaxation and before our meditation so I give you this moment to just write down or to rest your energy. Now take a deep breath in. Put your fist right in front of your face, elbows together. As you inhale, you open in wonder and you look up toward the ceiling. You lift your chest up. And then as you exhale, you bring everything in, concentrating your energy into your lower dantian, which is this area below your navel. And it's powerful, source of energy that needs cost and nurturing because from there you nurture the rest of your body including your intention so as you inhale you expand this energy from your lower dantian up into your heart and your mind down into your legs as well and then exhale as you bring in prana into the lower dantian Inhale, you spread prana all around, everywhere, including your space around you, not just into your body. And exhale. Exhale as you bring in prana. Exhale toxin, exhale what doesn't serve you. Inhale prana in, into your lower dantian. And inhale, expand your energy.
arms. Exhale. Again, rest. And inhale. And this time, I do ask you to lay down on your back. If you need it, you can have a blanket covering your torso and uh, have a pillow, something that makes you feel comfortable and rest completely down on your back. So this time, I'm not gonna ask you to sit in easy pose if you prefer. I would like everybody to lay down and rest. There will be a nice video during the relaxation and when it's time to wake up during this nice relaxa relaxation, you will hear my voice. Gently go down, prepare your space. If you need to drink some water, like a sip of water just to rehydrate re yourself, please do so, but just go down. We're gonna have a few minutes of nice, present sleep. So don't fall completely asleep, but be present, but let go completely your body. See you in a few minutes. I will wake you up from this relaxation.
gently. Start to take a deep breath in and exhale through the nose. Inhale again and exhale. Start to move your fingers and your toes and start to move your hands fully and completely. Rotate your hands around your wrists and your feet around your ankles. Gently keep going, moving and stretching your arms over your head, legs away from your body. Twist, stretch, elongate your body slowly awake the body. Rock even up and down, side to side, to really massage your spine fully and completely. And then find a nice, gentle way to return into easy pose for a nice meditation. We are truly preparing the path for our energy to be called back and for this energy to find a fertile, nurturing place to sit and unfold even more. So for today's meditation, I have an interesting practice because it requires a little bit of visualization abilities, okay? It's not gonna be long, it's gonna be just a few minutes, you don't need to be here for one hour, just a few minutes, but it's a very powerful meditation that will magnetize your entire system and your entire energetic system. So today we have worked specifically on energy, but also on the physical body in a sense of making it stronger. Because as I said during class, in order to allow our nervous system, our soul, and our energy system to make the shift that we needed to make, this physical body needs to be a very clear temple, but also a very strong temple with strong foundations. So that's why we worked a little bit on the physical body. Now we work specifically on giving the energetic pillar, the foundation of our energetic system, a boost of, of energy so that it's strong to receive more energy next time that we see each other. Mary Magdalene was a healer. She wasn't a prostitute. She was a healer. One of the most powerful healers of any time we can possibly think of. Of course, there are no records of it, but if you have worked with the energy of Mary Magdalene for a while now, you might have received a glimpse of what she was capable of. So, we need to create that space to be able to heal ourselves and maybe inspire others to do the same, okay? This is up to you, of course. Two things that you needed to know, actually one is more important. While we do this meditation, you have to visualize our eight energy centers, okay? The first one is connected to your perineum, so it's the first chakra. The second chakra is a few centimeters, like a two fingers actually, underneath your belly, um, belly button, so your uh, navel, and it's the second chakra and it's connected to your uh, sexual organs, okay? The third chakra is here, <laughs> above your navel, and it's connected to your solar plexus as well, and it's connected to your liver and spleen. Then we have the fourth chakra, we have the thymus gland in the center of our chest. The throat chakra, 
here the center of our throat where we have the thyroid. The sixth chakra is actually behind here and it's more it reflects here between your eyebrows of course but it's behind our head and it's more connected to um, I miss the name of that part of the brain in this moment it doesn't come to my mind I will write it in the description box below but basically the back side of your brain just the last part and then we have the seventh which is our pineal gland so it's in the center of our brain right in the center and then we have an eighth chakra which is like 16 inches above our head um, so it's here is not attached it's up here um, so we have to keep in mind all these energy centers but imagine them one on top of the other as they connect to one another energetically and um, you imagine like a tube of light connecting you to the earth passing through the body through the middle line of your body like literally a tube of light going up passing through your head through the eight chakra here and going out into the universe okay becoming actually connecting your energy with the universe okay it's actually a tube when you meditate i will tell you to do something with your energy just follow my indication but keep this tube of light bright and vibrating with electric energy which prana is electric energy Okay, let's go into the meditation. <laughs> Here. Sit naturally in an easy pose, your hands together, um, fingers together. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Now, breathe slowly and exhale slowly, okay? As low as you can, you can build up your resistance through times, but try to keep the time equal. So if you're breathing in for five seconds, exhale for five seconds. If you breathe in for 10, you exhale in 10, okay? Just be equal. As you inhale, you see the prana coming from the earth, passing through your first chakra, your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, your seven, your eight, and then you see the energy. There is a part of the energy that continues to connect you to the universe, to heaven, but the the, as the energy passes, it creates a magnetic field around your body in the shape of an apple and return in through the first chakra, through all the chakras, through the pranic tube out. Okay, these movements will help you to understand what's happening. So you have two forms of energy passing through the tube. One is the energy that constantly flows from earth through you into the universe. The other is your own prana circulating and creating this beautiful energy around your magnetic field. And your own prana is charged up by the earthly prana and heavenly prana passing through the tube. I hope it makes sense. So inhale deeply, exhale, inhale deeply, imagine the energy of the earth passing through the first chakra, through the pranic tube, all the way up, touching each chakra, each energy center, up into the universe, Pulling in and down, 
heavenly prana, a heavenly chi, which pass down through the eighth chakra above your head, down through the energy tube into the earth. And as this passage happens, your own prana start to create this beautiful energy in a shape of an apple, magnetizing your entire system. It's happening at the same time. And let you go with your visualization. Contributes to this creation by being 
tương lai Take a deep breath in and exhale. This type of meditation will make you feel a little bit high. <laughs> so I do suggest you to take a little bit of a moment before you start anything else um, uh, during your day or uh, in the evening. Especially don't drive immediately after this meditation. It's something, come back on planet Earth because at the moment your magnetic field is particularly open and bright, okay? Uh, also the meditation, the movements that we have done throughout the class have opened up your magnetic field. You might not feel right away, but it, it will have some effect in your system and with your life, for sure. Write down everything that came up and uh, if it's something negative, just burn it. Literally burn it, just fold it and burn it <laughs> with the lighter. Um, just give it into the universe. You don't need to pay any more attention to those negative stuff anymore, especially if they are judgments. Judgments are never truth. They're just judgment. If you have uncovered something beautiful, your intention, your ideas, your pray for the future, write them down because those are your affirmations and repeat them to nurture your system and to remind yourself what's your purpose for this life. Remember that my classes are not traditional yoga and definitely uh, I put these classes together based on what my intention with yoga is. My yoga is healing first and foremost. I needed to have an intention, I needed to activate healing energy when I do practice yoga. Yoga on its own doesn't do anything to me. So if you expected a vinyasa or classic kundalini yoga class, I'm sorry, but that's not what I do anymore. This is pure healing yoga and it's my style. It's the way how after 30 years of practice, I see and live my yoga. I'm way open. If you have any questions, please, you can write your question in the comment box below, or you can reach out to me through my website here, and you go on the contact page, and you can reach out to me in there. If you would like to have a private session with me, same thing, go on my website on the private class page and read everything and then contact me for more information and to make an appointment. If you wish to make a donation for this video as some other people have asked me, please, you can make it through my PayPal account. You can make your donation in your own currency. Don't worry. And uh, send whatever you feel like you want to send it. Everything is appreciated. These videos are completely free 
and they literally come from my heart to yours but if you want to support my work I definitely not gonna say no to that <laughs> actually I'm very open and super thankful for anything that you can uh, share with me again take it very easy drink a sip of water eat something and then go on with your life um, but the life is yours, so do what you feel is good for you. I give you a big hug and see you next week with another beautiful yoga class, Goddess Yoga class, dedicated to our Mary Magdalene energy. Bye!